Yo, welcome back, Lazy here, and in this episode, we're going to be checking out this, the newly added Jaguar I-Pace, and if you don't know by now, this car is fully electric. I think it's one of Jag's first electric cars, so I want to try and build this into a drag car, so yeah, let's jump in and get that started. Alright, so yeah, we really don't have much to work on here, so let's jump over into here and check out the battery and motor upgrade. So what? Uh, look at that torque curve, 512 horsepower and 667 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, we'll upgrade to that. Yeah, I don't want the dinner plate on there, so... Yeah, won't go for that. Wow, that doesn't actually really show it up at all. So yeah, let's go with that. For the tyre compound, we're going to need drag, ra drag radials. I'm going to go through and make them as wide as possible. Sucks, this is a really heavy car and I'm just adding weight, but that's fine. I'm going to need some drag room, so let's jump over and put on the welds. Yep, there we go. Yeah, nah. Yeah, I really want them welds. I just want to check out the rest of the drag tires but none of them really suit what I want so yeah we'll go with those for the tire size oh wow Jaguar setting setting records out here being the first car to be able to downsize your tires so we're gonna go with that and we'll bring the tire width all the way out in the front and rear so I'm thinking with the torque curve that this thing has, the lower RPM range is going to be where all the torque is. And once you get past that, it's going to be crap. So we'll try a drag race, but I want to try some other stuff with this as well. We'll go with the upgraded brakes. There is no drift suspension. So we'll go with the rally. Yeah get more adjustability out of that. We'll upgrade the sway bars and weight reduction. That brings it down to 3600. Wow. This is a really heavy low power. So this isn't going to be fun at all. But yeah, there's a build done. Let's jump over and chuck on a new paint. So with this being a standard production car, we should have a fair few colors to choose from. Yeah. I really like that red and blue, but I'm going to go for something bright and out there. Mm, ooh, I really like that green. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, I don't really want to change that at all. For the mirrors, I'm definitely going to go with matte carbon. Actually, no gloss carbon. The wing, I want to go with a gloss carbon as well. And that really suits it with the roof and all that being black. For the rims, I want to make them... Hmm, hmm, yeah, white's not going to do it. So, let's go with the matte black. Yep. And we'll make the inner hub or inner ring the same color as a the car. There we go. That looks awesome. Tint the windows. Boom. There we go. Sweet, so the tune that we're going to be using today is available to download. Here is the information. Now, let's jump into a drag race and see how this goes. Wow, so this may be the slowest drag race I've ever done. This gearing only tops out at like 120 miles per hour. But I really kind of want to see how the low end torque goes. So let's jump over to the rail yard. Sweet, so here we are. Let's take this thing for a bit of a Jim Carner run and see how it goes.
so yeah, the low end torque curve is really decent if it's set up right. But there's one more thing I want to check out, so let's jump back over to the festival. So here we are back at the festival, with this being an electric car, the reverse should be pretty pretty gnarly on this. So let's see if we can do some reverse donuts. So that actually worked rather well, it was like drifting forklift. Sweet, so that low end torque is really good, but that's the video for today, thanks for watching, stay safe and I'll catch you next time, laters.